Hi, I'm Victoria Rose from All About Babies and in this short video, I'm gonna share with you all my tips for how to introduce a comforter to your baby. Firstly, as always, I recommend that parents follow the safe sleep advice as outlined by the Lullaby Trust, who recommend refraining from using a comforter until your little one is over the age of six months. Babies from newborn to six months should all be sleeping in an empty cot. So firstly, why use a comforter? Well, actually, you don't need to. Plenty of babies fall asleep without a comforter, without a dummy, without sucking their thumb, and they never need that type of sleep association to feel comfortable to go to sleep. However, if you've got a baby who's been used to falling asleep on you, or co-sleeping in your bed, or you're thinking of taking away a dummy, then giving them a transitional object, a comforter, can be really helpful in supporting them to learn to self-settle in their cot. Comforters do exactly what they say on the tin. They provide comfort to your baby. It's almost like a little piece of you that they get to keep with them. So as well as supporting babies with their sleep, comforters can also help in areas such as transitioning your little one to childcare. So what type of comforter should you use? There's a few things to consider when choosing a comforter. Firstly, you don't want anything too big. Secondly, you want to make sure that if you're using a material-based comforter, that that material is breathable. And thirdly, that the item is suitable for babies, so there's no like googly eyes or beads or hair that could be pulled out of the item. One of the comforters that I really like is something like this one. This is an Arden Anane comforter, and the reason that I like it is because the material is a muslin, which means that it's breathable. So a lot of babies, when they use their comforter, they actually smush it on their face or lay it over their face, um, which is why I think it's so important to use something like this with the breathable material. It's also really soft. So now you've chosen your comforter, your baby's over six months, how do you go about introducing it to them? Well, the key is to teach them that this item equals comfort. So we're looking throughout the day for all those experiences where babies are getting comfort to make sure that our comforter is present. The most common opportunity for your baby to receive comfort is when they're feeding. So that's the first time to introduce your comforter. So if you have a baby who is breastfeeding, what you want to do is place the comforter on you wherever their hands normally lay whilst they're having a feed. So instead of kind of gripping your bra or gripping your top or your breast, actually whilst they're feeding they're going to be touching their comforter. If you're bottle feeding your baby you do exactly the same thing. Wherever their hands are, you smush it in their hands, gently rub their hands with it. You want them to be touching the item as they're feeding. The second opportunity to introduce your comforter is anytime your baby's receiving a cuddle because they're upset. So if they're crying for some reason or they're very tired and you pick them up to give them a cuddle, again, you want the comforter to be present. So what you can do is actually use the comforter to help give them some reassurance. You can rub it on their face gently or on their cheek while you're kind of snuggling them and saying shh. And that's another great way to get that association of this meaning comfort. Also, having your comforter present during your pre-nap wind down, bedtime routine is really important too. So if you're singing a lullaby and giving them a cuddle before putting them in the cot, make sure the comforter is present. If you're sitting on the sofa and you're having snuggles, make sure the comforter is also present. What you can do to make sure you've always got it with you is actually during the day wear it down your top because then the added bonus is the comforter's going to smell like you, which to your baby is the best smell in the world. And finally, you'll make sure to place your comforter in your little one's cot for their daytime naps, in their pram if they're sleeping outdoors, and in their cot overnight as well. What you're looking for is that your little one's shop what you're looking for is that your little one starts to show an interest in their comforter. So like I said before, they might start smushing it on their face. Maybe they get their fingers and they rub it as they're falling asleep. Some babies just kind of wave it around a little bit as they're falling asleep. Once you notice them engaging, then you've done a good job. They are connected to their comforter. Then I'd recommend go and buy a few more 
and wash them regularly and switch them up so your little one doesn't get too attached to just one and they won't like it when you wash it. It might take a couple of weeks for your baby to develop associations to their comforter. Some babies never will, but it's absolutely worth a try if you think it would be beneficial for your baby. I hope you found my tips useful. Have a great day.